What's up everybody? We are on Vanderbilt Beach Road in Naples, Florida on the shadows of the Ritz Carlton and I'm going to show you guys what is taking place right now in Naples. A lot of the locals, are you rushing me? Yeah. This lady's rushing me. She's yeah, I'm well. here too. Don't think I'm well, not. Well, we're going to go real slow since you're in a rush. <laughs> yeah. Since you're not in a rush, we're going to go real slow now. So we're going to show you guys what's taking place here in Naples. A lot of locals are angry that three or four very, very, very long-term uh, structures are now gone. <sighs> We're in the shadows of the Ritz Carlton, and you'll see that the Japanese restaurant that's been here for decades is gone. Mm -hmm. The the beachside convenience store is gone. Uh, yeah. There's like several buildings. Completo. The, the, the Japanese restaurant, they're going to knock it down. It's out. They're, they're, they're in the on? process. Look, they're wow. they've teared up the road. They've teared up. The, they're starting to tear up parking So lot. these buildings here, uh, there was a, like, where La Solinera? Remember the, the beach gas station? Gone. Mm -hmm. There's the metal pile from it. Yep. Gone. So this little beach corner store was like an iconic, yeah. and there was a restaurant in the corner. That was an iconic, iconic restaurant here by the beach. It was really good. So the locals are kind of really upset. They're going to build a big building. And they fought as much as they could to stop it from happening. But, they, but my question to you is this. Isn't this the fastest growing blah, 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 blah? What do you think is going to happen here? What do you think is going to happen in the fastest growing, fastest growing blah, 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 I want that baby blue water. We could probably go for a swim. Do we have the swim in the back? No. We'll go to the pier. We'll swim in the pier. Look at the color of water. Mm -hmm. We don't have the stuff in the back. Well, we're just going to have to get rained on. Oh, yeah. But, uh, beautiful, beautiful day here. But, uh, you know, isn't this the fastest growing and, and uh, Blah 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 and all that. Look at the size of that boat that's on the water. I mean, a yacht wow. that's on the water. Dude, this place is packed to the gills. The watercolor is beautiful too, though. I wonder if the mm -hmm. look at the Naples Pier camera and see what the watercolor looks like in Naples. I got a feeling it's gonna be beautiful. Let's see, um, well, that's it. It's gone. It is completely gone. Um, let's just go past so I can slow down. Here you go. It's gone. And I guess at some point they hit the sun or something. It's all bent up. There it is, guys. That is uh, North Naples for you. Gone. Historic buildings completely gone. Um, and a big, giant new thing is coming up. So the locals are not happy. These are uh, iconic buildings over here. <laughs> iconic buildings are gone. And the, the new growth is coming. But again, I don't know what surprises the local people. These people, they've been fighting back these changes forever. This city's grown. And it's projected to keep growing as a metropolitan area, both Naples, Corlier, and Lee County, Fort Myers. What I find interesting is that people are surprised that this is happening, as if, as if it's a surprise to them. Look, Sarasota is basically like a like a little Miami. Um, they put skyscrapers everywhere in Sarasota, and in fact, they, now they have better infrastructure and they have a worse congestion problem because Florida doesn't prepare invest in the infrastructure or anything like that um, but it's one of those deals where you should kind of know what time it is and this is what time it is like it's long overdue these people fought and they were gonna build in, in Fort Myers an Amazon plant that was gonna be enough to give 3,000 people work directly or something like that and they ended up not being able to make the project happen because they thought they were going to get sued by the local police people here. And what they're going to do is they're going to they're going to sue. What's it cost to stay at the Ritz Carlton? 
Right there, there it is, right there. Yep, Swiss Crown. What does it cost to stay there? Like, I think $400 a night. That's it? Look it up. It might go down with the hurricane. It'd be a great place to watch the hurricane if it comes through here. But, uh, yeah, the, the, the locals there are really throwing a fit. As if, by any chance, it was a surprise that this is Southwest Florida. But they fight back. I mean, they've been wanting to do stuff. They've been wanting to make Naples an incredible place for a while. And all these old farts, they started complaining and crying about how they're building stuff. Dude, there's no... There's no... It's 2022. It's not 1970. Catch up with the times. This is what time it is. $411 this is, a night. That's not bad. The state of Rich Carlton in Naples, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Uh, is it oh, going to go down with the hurricane? No, that's the cheap website that's probably a scam. It's like $600 a night. Okay. That sounds a little bit more. Let me see hurricane day when it's going to be. Because the hurricane is coming like Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday yeah. night, Wednesday morning yeah. type thing. But I, I don't even think it's going to be that bad. I think it's going to go way. We, we, you never know, though. Nothing about hurricanes. Just forget about predictions. Mm -hmm. Remember Hurricane Charlie? Yeah. Uh, it was going to go north of Tampa and then oh, yeah. Port Charlotte. Yep. Uh huh. You never know until last minute with hurricanes. Yeah, that's so very interesting. But I am seeing, like, usually there's signs and you're kind, we're kind of seeing that. Okay, good. You never know where hurricanes are going to go. Don't, don't tell me there's signs and whatever. Mm -hmm. So, you have a city. I'm about to throw it on the. But, uh, yeah, that's, they've been fighting the change forever, but it's clearly, clearly, um, not something that you can exactly, um, stop. I mean, look at Sarasota, but Sarasota's a better city than Naples today, and it wasn't like that, but why is it a better city? Because they've actually allowed people to build big buildings and stuff, and now, it's a better place because they have more stuff. But down here, they've been finding growth for the longest. And it's getting Eventually, to the point. they won't be able to do that. Oh, yeah, anymore. of course. You know, they complicate. This is the most complicated. I've always said this is the this most This is a care society. Yeah, this is the most complicated place in the world, basically. Mm -hmm. This is the most complicated place in the world. This is an area full of Karens with Karen attitudes. Look at Katie. I know, I came from here. <laughs> it's just. Just look at Katie, man. But what's that La Playa stay worth? There's like nothing but Ferraris there. I thought you could pull one of them and turn around. There's like nothing but Ferraris in the driveway. Alright. This place looks kind of grimy. For being where it is. How much does a La Playa stay? I'm trying to figure that out. But of course, with Naples, there's no signal. There's no signal. I don't know to see how much of a hotel costs. That's Naples for you. Yep. You see the cars that are parked in the driveway. And now it's got the map doing weird stuff. $310 a night. That's it? The stay here is only $310 a night? Uh, let me see. Prices, few prices. Yeah, $449 on their website. You know the cars like Audi A8s and Ferraris and stuff. So it costs four forty nine. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing: do they have generators for like power and stuff? Because if there's no, if the, if there's a hurricane, there's no power and blah 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 and blah blah blah. Oh yeah, I just want to be able to stay somewhere where my car can be in a garage. I think I'm going the wrong way. And be more protected. And then. I just drove out the wrong way. They've got a generator. I mean, I could call them and ask if they got a hurt, if they got a generator. Yeah, because they that most people, they're not going to stay at a luxury hotel for a hurricane, but we're, we're big time bosses here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to call them right now. It's going to be the so, oddest question generators. they've had all day.
lights flashing. Hi, does your hotel have like backup generators in case the power goes out? Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> yes, they do. Okay, so that's They're good. like, of course we do. Okay, yeah. so that's an option. Yeah. It's cheaper than it's called, and I bet, oh, the yeah. view, I bet the view from there would be incredible. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm looking at like, pictures if of it the does, if the If the hurricane does look, mm -hmm. if it looks, and they have a parking garage, so if the hurricane looks like it's going to come this way by any chance, I don't think it will. And I'm coming. looking at the rooms, and it's like, wow. Yeah. And uh, I think the, I'm chef. Oh, they're going to knock down the Japanese restaurant. Mm -hmm. Say goodbye to the Japanese restaurant. Bye-bye. Never went there. Never went there, though, but the Mura is what it's called. Mm -hmm. If I can pull up to it, I can pull up to it. I love how it's just like random Ferraris and Lamborghinis running around here. Say goodbye to the mirror. Never, never went there. So what is this going to be like a hotel or like? I a, don't know. I, there it is. Say goodbye to the Japanese. I don't look at the news at all. I should, but I don't. This is a Japanese place. Say goodbye to it. Say goodbye. Esto no va a tomar también para pizza sushi, pero esto se va. Say goodbye to it. I never really ate at, your, at this place. But it's been there for a while. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, bet the people, I bet people here are probably going to be pretty upset about the construction and stuff. <laughs> Changes coming to life, ever changing. Life is an ever changing situation. It's never the same for too long. Unfortunately, it's gonna keep changing and you can't stop it. And the people that are fighting to keep stopping it, they're delaying it, but they're not gonna stop it. They really fought to keep this from happening. But it's Naples, what do you think is gonna happen here? You know, like, what did you really think was going to happen in Naples? Ferraris, Lamborghinis running around, huge tourist destination, huge snowboarding destination. What did you really think was going to happen here? Of course they're going to build big skyscrapers. And this city has an ordinance against skyscrapers, like a height limitation. And it's probably one of the worst things on the books, because that's why Sarasota blew up. That's why other places have blown up. Crazy, crazy. There it is, guys. Checking out from Naples. Quite the, uh, quite the historical uh, landmark there now. Changing things. Growth. Of course. It's Naples.